This is a problematic section of the Leiblolo Highway. In 2013, floodwaters washed away part of the road. The bridge survived, but last night, floods washed away the base of the bridge, cutting off the link. No morning, no, Mr. Man, no morning, so I'm part of him over time. What time, no? Send him out. Come on, no. Locals have built a temporary bridge and have been charging pedestrians who have no choice but to pay a fee to pass. Works engineers arrived on the scene this morning to assess the damage. They said it could take at least three days to assemble a temporary Bailey bridge to allow for vehicles to cross. First of all, I am strong, Thomas. So we will wait until I um, uh, am calm down now. Flood and come down for normal now. We will do. We will carry out the uh, water new works, plus bank protection. The value of the Leibololo Highway is many times underestimated, but it's a road that links Lay City to two towns, Wau and Bulolo. Chicken and egg supplier Zanag, mining company MMJV, and Bulolo Forest Products also rely heavily on this road. This morning, Morobi Governor Kelly Nauru went to the site. This latest damage adds to a hefty bill of 5 million kina from last year's infrastructure damage in various parts of the province. Uh, there's much more work that needs to be done uh, in terms of uh, uh, river training and uh, some other major works which is going to take time. But uh, immediate need to ensure uh, we give access to uh, vehicular traffic to flow in and out. Uh, will commence uh, as of tomorrow. Scott Whitey, National MTV News, Lay.